In the aftermath of Hamas's shocking attack on Israel, Israeli Minister of Strategic Affairs Ron Dermer has disclosed that Americans are among the many hostages currently held by the Islamic terror group. This unprecedented attack, initiated by Iran-linked militants in the Gaza Strip, prompted Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to declare war on Hamas, vowing revenge. According to Mr. Dermer, more than 600 people in Israel have lost their lives since the assault. The U.S. State Department is diligently investigating reports that Americans were among those killed or captured during the attack. Secretary of State Antony Blinken confirmed these reports, stating that the government is working tirelessly to corroborate the claims. He revealed, yes, we have reports that several Americans were killed. We're working overtime to verify that. U.S. Officials, during an unclassified briefing by the White House National Security Council, have informed lawmakers that four Americans have been killed in the Hamas terror attacks on Israel, with expectations of this number rising. In response to this crisis, President Joe Biden has directed additional support for Israel. The U.S. is considering financial and military assistance to aid Israel in this unprecedented terrorist assault. U.S. lawmakers have swiftly condemned the aggression and reaffirmed their support for Israel. Despite the absence of a House Speaker, congressional leaders, including Rep. Kevin McCarthy and Rep. Patrick McHenry, have stood by Israel's right to self-defense. The situation, however, presents unique challenges in Congress, where legislative actions may be limited until a new Speaker is elected. The attack on Israel has rekindled the U.S.'s unwavering commitment to its Middle East ally. This crisis calls for a united front against terror, as Israel grapples with the aftermath of this calculated and unprovoked aggression by Hamas.